Okay, so uh, moving on to our final part in uh, chapter number three, where we talk about measuring computer memory. Okay, so over here it says uh, computer memory, uh, computer memory capacity can be measured in two formats. Okay, there are two ways of measuring it. You have the decimal number system and the binary number system. Okay, so I'll, I'll talk about both of these shortly. The smallest unit of data, the smallest unit of data in the computer is one bit, okay? So one bit is the smallest unit of data in a computer, okay? Now, when you consider one character, okay? When you think of one letter, one symbol, one number, the size of that one character is equal to eight bits, okay? So one character, which can be a letter, can be a number, can be a symbol, okay? So one character is equal to the size of Eight bits, okay. Eight bits, eight bits can be referred to as one byte, okay. So instead of saying eight bits, you can simply say one byte, okay. So one character in the computer is equal to the size of one byte, okay. So if there are two characters in a document, you can very simply say that this document is sixteen, sorry, sixteen bits in size, or so you can say two bytes in size, okay. If there are three characters, you will multiply eight by three and say it's 8, 16, 24 bits, so it's three bytes in size, okay? That's how it works, okay? Now, I'm gonna be showing you how to measure your computer memory using the decimal number system, okay? Using this decimal number system, how do we measure computer's memory? So over here, I have given you the breakdown, okay? So I told you in the previous slide, I told you eight bits is equal to one byte, okay? So one character is one byte, okay? Now, when you put 1,000 characters together, when you put 1,000 characters, you will be having 1,000 bytes now. So 1,000 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte, okay? 1,000 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte, okay? 1,000 kilobytes is equal to 1 megabyte, and so on. 1,000 megabytes is equal to 1 gigabyte, 1,000 gigabytes is equal to 1 terabyte, okay? And so on, the list goes, okay? So you can see these are the units that we are using. So I'll just ask you a very simple question. If somebody asks you, how much is 2000 bytes equal to? You will very simply say it's equal to two kilobytes, okay? I'll give you another question as well. Say for example, somebody says 10 GB, okay? Equal to how many bytes is equal to how many kilobytes, for example? Okay, say for example, there is a question, 10 GB is equal to how many kilobytes? Now, what you need to do is you need to first look, okay, this is a big unit, gigabyte is a big unit. Can you see it's coming at the end of the list, towards the end of the list, gigabyte, okay? So gigabyte is a bigger unit than kilobyte, okay? Gigabyte is a bigger unit than kilobyte. So when you are converting from a big unit to a small unit, let me also type that down so it will be easier for you to remember. When converting, when con converting from a big unit to a smaller to a small unit, okay. Remember, you must multiply. Okay, when you are converting from a big unit such as gigabyte and you're coming down to a small unit such as kilobytes, you must keep multiplying. Okay, so we have ten GB. Okay, so from 10 GB, we come down to, from GB, we come down to megabyte. So we have to multiply by 1000, okay? From GB, we are coming to MB, so we need to multiply by 1000. Okay, so we are multiplying by 1000 megabytes, okay? Now from megabytes, we have to come to kilobytes, okay? So we kilobytes is over here. We multiply by another 1000, okay? So we say 1000 kilobytes. So this is where we stop at because now we have reached kilobytes now. So we stop here. So our answer would be equal to 10. And then we add another three zeros. We add these three zeros. Okay, this is multiplication mathematics. And the other three zeros will be kilobytes. Okay. Okay, so 10 GB when uh, converted to uh, 10 GB when converted into kilobytes, this is the result. We get 10 million kilobytes, okay? Let me expand the question. Let's let's make it even more. Let's convert it into bits, okay? 10 GB is equal to how many bits, okay? Let's take it even further. So from kilobyte, the next unit that we have, the next unit after kilobyte is bytes, okay? 
from kilobytes, we go to bytes, okay? So we multiply by another thousand, okay? Thousand bytes, okay? Now, from bytes, we need to come to bits. From bytes, we need to come to bits. Yes, you have to multiply by eight. Over here, all this time we were multiplying by thousand, 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 we were multiplying. But when you go from bytes to bits, you have to multiply by eight, okay? So over here, we come over here and say eight bits. Okay, guys. So then our answer, what you can simply do is you can write it like this 10 times, 10 to the power, or you can write it like, or you can even keep it in this form. You can even keep it in this form, or you can even keep it like this, eight times 10 to the power of, you have three, six, nine, eight times 10 to the power of nine bits. Okay, so basically 8 billion bits, okay? 10 GB, sorry, uh, yeah. Okay, so 10 GB, this is what you can just, because you will not be, you, you need to write, you don't need to multiply it, you can simply keep the expression as it is, okay? Let's take it the other way around. Let's take it the other way around. Say, for example, they give us a value like this, 125, okay, like this, they give us a value, and they say this is in uh, kilobytes, for example, okay, is equal to, so this is going to be, is equal to how many, to how many GB, for example, we'll say, okay, how many GB, okay? So in this case, we are going from a smaller unit, from a smaller unit, we are going to a bigger unit. Kilobyte is a small unit. From a small unit, we go to a big unit. So in this case, we do the opposite. When we go from big to small, we multiply. So when we go from small to big, yes, we will divide. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy and paste this. When converting from a small unit to a big unit, you must divide them, okay? So what we do is we take 125, 30, 30, and we divide it by, so let's put the unit as well. 9 million times, uh, times another thousand. So from kilobyte, we go to megabyte, okay? Then this answer, again, we divide by thousand so that we reach gigabyte, okay? So you can leave your answer in expression form itself. You do not read, not need to calculate and write the final answer. In most of the past years, I'll show you. They ask you to only write the expression, okay? So this is what your answer will be, okay? Right, so this is how the decimal number system works, okay? So this is how the decimal number system works. Decimal number system, okay? Now, when you, I'm gonna scroll down now. Take this all the way down because the binary number system is going to take some time. Now, when we do come into the binary number system, when you do come into the binary number system, yes, once again, we start with eight bits is equal to one byte, okay? Now, before we talk about the numbers over here, when we talk about the binary number system, when we talk about the binary number system, we are referring to only two characters, okay? The binary number system, give me a second. The binary number system or the binary language has only two characters, which is zero and one, okay? The binary language has only two characters, which is zero and one. So any number that is taken in binary form, any number that is taken in binary form is taken as two to the power of, Okay, any number that is taken in the binary form is taken as two to the power of, okay, two to the power of a particular number, okay? So in the binary number system, in the binary number system, let me also put this down over here, in the binary num, in the, sorry, in the binary number system, we only make, we only use, numbers that are a power of two, okay? So in the binary number system, we only use numbers that are a power of two, okay? So let me give you an example. We have two to the power of zero, which is equal to one, okay? Then we have two to the power of one, which is equal to two. Then we have two to the power of two, which is equal to four. 
then 2 to the power of 3, which is equal to 8. Then we have 2 to the power of 4, which is equal to 16. 2 to the power of 5, which is equal to 32. 2 to the power of 6, which is equal to 64. 2 to the power of 7, which is equal to 128. 2 to the power of 8, which is equal to 5, uh, 256. 2 to the power of 9, which is equal to 512. 2 to the power of 10, which is equal to 1024. So in the, in the binary number system, we only use numbers that are a power of 2. Okay. Now, guys, my question, my, my explanation over here is, look, in the binary number system, 8 is present. So you can use 8. 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. So you can use 8 bits. It's not a problem in the binary number system. Also, 1 is available. 2 to the power of to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So you can also use 1. Not a problem. The problem starts over here. Over here, normally we have 1000. Normally we were using 1000. But we cannot bring 1000 over here because in the binary number system, where is it? In the binary number system, look, there is no 1000. Can you see? There is no 1000. The closest that we have to 1000 is 1024. Which is why in the binary number system, we do not use 1000. Instead, we keep using 1024. Okay. I hope that makes sense to you. The difference between the decimal number system and the binary number system is this. In decimal, we keep using 1000, 1000, 1000. But in the binary number system, we keep using 1024, 1024. Okay. Further, when you are using the decimal number system, you say kilobyte. When you use the binary number system, you say kibi byte. When you say mega in decimal number system, we say mega byte. In the binary number system, we say maybe byte. Okay. So here we put MB, here we put M simple I B. Okay. To define, to show that you are using the binary number system. Okay. So I hope the difference between the two is clear. Okay. Why we are using 1024 in the binary number system? I hope that makes sense to you okay so let's do a simple question again okay so over here for example where are we we are over here so here also we'll, we'll do the same question that we had earlier let's copy both these questions over here okay control c and uh, let's come over here control v so 10 gib 10 gib is equal to how many bits so what we do is let's erase this entire thing. So 10 GIB, we multiply it by 1024 K, sorry, MIB, multiply by 1024 KIB. And then we have to come down to bytes. So 1024 bytes times 1020, times eight bits. Okay, so when we convert 10 GIB to bits, so from GIB we come to MIB, from MIB we come to KIB, from KIB we come to bytes, and then from bytes we come to 8 bits. Okay, we multiply by 8 bits. Okay, so let's do the same thing over here, KIB to GIB. So what we do is 125 million we, uh, KIB, we divide by 1024, 1024 MIB. And over here again, 1024 GIB. Okay, so I hope guys, this makes sense. If it doesn't, please do watch this video again. Still not making sense, then drop me a message in the description. It is there. I'll see how I can help you out. Okay, so only difference between binary and decimal is the 1000 and 1024. And then also in binary, we don't say kilobyte, we say kibibyte. We don't say megabyte, we say maybe byte. Okay, that keep that simple I gets added. Okay. Okay. So that's it for the computers measuring the computer's memory. Okay. So in the past paper, now for example, we have a question over here. A printer has a 32 MIB of cache memory. Construct an expression. Look here. Expression. They're not asking you for the final answer. They only want you to show the mathematical working. Construct an expression to show how many bits are in 32 MIB. So let me do this question for you. So over here, what happens is we take 32 MIB. I B. So from MIB, I need to go to a smaller unit. Okay. Because from MIB, we are coming to bits now. So from a big unit, we are going to a smaller unit. So we need to 
multiply. Yes, so we multiply by 1024 KIB. Then from KIB, I need to multiply by 1024 and go to bytes. Okay, and then from bytes, I multiply and multiply by eight bits. Okay, so you can keep your answer like this. Okay. Uh, next. So over here, the same thing has been given. Can you see? Uh, they have said, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, another one is over here. A CPU has a 16 MIB of cache memory. Construct an expression to show how many bits. So same question, just the numbers are different. So over here, we take a text box. Okay, so from 16 MIB, 16 MIB. So from a big unit, we are going to a smaller unit. From MIB, we are going to bits. So again, by 1024 MIB, we come to KIB. From KIB, we come to bytes. And then from bytes, we come to eight bits, okay? So you can leave your answer in expression form. You can say 16 times 1024 squared times eight. Okay, you can leave your answer in this form, okay? Right, and then there is another one also here. One more coming up. So here it's 128 GIB, construct Gibby bytes, construct an expression to show how many bits are in 128 Gibby bytes. So very easy. We come to insert text box, we draw a text box. So 128 GIB. So from GIB, we have to go down to make maybe bytes. So we multiply by 1024, maybe bytes. Then from maybe bytes, we come down once more, which is Gibby bytes. Then from KB bytes, we come down once more, which is bytes. Then from bytes, we come down to bits. So we have to multiply by eight, eight bits. Okay, so you can leave your answer in expression form, which is 128 times 1024 to the power of one, two, three times eight. Okay. So this would be your final answer. Okay. Right, so with that, we have come to the end of chapter three. Hope uh, it has been useful. I hope it has been beneficial to you. Okay, please do attempt these questions. In the next video, we'll be attempting past paper questions from chapter number three. Okay, so those will be, and these are also past paper questions. So this is from the 2020 past paper. This is from the 2021 past paper. Okay, okay, so with that, we come to the end of chapter number three. Okay, see you in the next videos. Take care.